Sometimes when you wake up in the morning, you know, people say you, you're supposed to do your morning devotionals. You're supposed to attribute things to God. You're supposed to do a mantra or meditation. You're supposed to do a little yoga stretch or something like that. But every once in a while in the morning, God makes his presence be known. He is in your life making a way. This morning, on this fine, beautiful, random Thursday morning, because God be random sometimes. It's Thursday, okay. It's Thursday. I thought it was Friday. Your girl walked through and came upon the holy grail of grits. Praise him. <laughs> Hallelujah. And look at how the bubbles popping up. You got the fall right there. That's, that's a good leaf. Like thorough cooked grit, where it still got the the smooth station, but you can tell it ain't watery. It's, it's creamy, the good cream. There is a God. <laughs> Wait, was there? There's a palm. There's a bomb. There's a grit stirrer in Bethlehem for me. Mm. In Bethlehem, there's sugar. On my grits. Yes, Ooh, it is. It, and see, I stopped the whole thing right there. And now I have just walked myself out of the blessing. I am fully blocked. Because <laughs> we're going to have to start the sugar and salt. Let me say this. For it's a respect, little salt and pepper in it. Always salt and pepper. Always yeah. salt and pepper. But because cheese was going in these grits, we leaving these grits on the savory tip and not the sweet tip. No, I don't, I don't have cheese to put in it. I mean, if you have. We had the Gouda, you, right? I can't find it. Girl, don't make me have somebody go. I'm going to have them run right down there this morning. First thing in the morning, put Gouda on the main line. Tell them what you want. But anyway. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. If you like Gouda, you can put some Gouda in. I don't care. Look but I eat mine plain now. That's because you've grown up. <laughs> that's what happens when you have to do all those diet and stuff. You, you learn to change your seasonings. Mm. So they done. They are done. They are done. beautiful. You like them like that? Yes. I would, yeah. Girl, I, I, let I don't me just like say. mine too thick. No, I I like and a good grit. Cheese in it. Ooh, I like a good grit. Child, grit. Girls in the South. Grit. Learning how to work hard. Grit. Mm. <laughs> Southern Temptations. Grit. I love a good grit. Did you bring these from the States? Yeah. Okay, so you bought a whole bag or you just bought a little bit? bit? I bought them for somebody else. Mm -hmm. And they burst all up in my bag. That ain't never going to hurt a grit. That don't hurt a grit or so, a gave them some and I saved some for you guys. When we come back I'm going to learn better how to preserve them in the suitcase. When she come and back. bring a lot more. And she bringing a lot more. <laughs> she bringing a lot more. I'm bringing a lot more. You know I actually had um, this party in Dubai called the Great Grit Debate. Oh and with sugar or Yes but we had a grits bar. Ooh. And we had like everybody, like people made yeah. grits, but then you had all these different toppings. Yeah. So we had like fried chicken, like you know, sauteed yeah. shrimp, the cheese, like yeah. you could just put man. No, I just pretty much like my, because in, in the States I make mine with not a water base, but mm -hmm. a um, chicken broth base. When you go have grits in restaurants, when you have grits in. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, shrimp and grits, or mm -hmm. they usually use a, a different a, type a of base. base. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what that tells me is like I might have to throw some cash. We might have to do the Great Grit debate again. Ooh, that was and nice. the money went to charity. Ooh. Like you had to vote because it was like, ooh, Jaws. Um, you couldn't. Um, like of course everybody fought, but like the final vote was like put your money where your mouth is. Yeah. Because people and that's the thing, sugar grits won. <clears throat> no, because the sugar grit people were ballers. <laughs> See, that's the thing. Sometimes people talk a lot, but you got to back it up. And all the sugar people, all the sugar people had good jobs. And they put their money in there. Oh, yeah, sugar rich one. Look at them. Wait, let's do this. Let's do the onion. These are good. No, those, those are good. perfect. They look like, girl, I'm going to They're not thumpy. Place. When I was yeah. growing up, my mother made them thumpy. Everything was thumpy. No. Every, I mean lumpy. Everything was lumpy. Mm-hmm. Cream like of wheat was lumpy. Grits was lumpy. No, you don't do that. Ralston was lumpy. No. You remember that. Ralston? Look at that. Hot broth. Look at that. <laughs> Look. Where's that taco? There's a grit stirrer in, in Bethlehem. Grit stirrer in Bethlehem. There's a grit stirrer in Bethlehem. Dear Heavenly Father, we now bless the hands that packaged 
wrapped and saved each grit from the bottom of the bag. <laughs> Heavenly Father, we appreciate the soul that had whispered in her ear this morning to wake up and boil the water. Yeah. Sprinkle just a little salt up in the water to make sure it does right and to sit there patiently while it hit the simmer because you don't cook grits, you simmer them. You don't buy quick grits either. You don't buy quick grits. You just get in the grit. You are and be do you know in North Carolina? What's going on in North Carolina? There must have been a shortage on grits. No, there was no shortage on grits. Um... They had shortage on chicken wing and grits. The states ain't for you, baby. I had to go to six supermarkets. Are you serious? Just to get some grits. They had quick grits, but they didn't. That's I not the not same. Buy them. No, not the same. And I found them in a Hispanic supermarket. Praise God that the Hispanics yeah. don't know what a good grit is. They, <laughs> they had praise a God for of wait, grits. Praise God for the diversity hire that said put grits in this Hispanic market. <laughs> How you have a shortage on grits? I don't know. Mm. But the one manager said there was a supply chain problem with a lot of food mm. in supermarkets. Mm. And they took so. away y'all's chicken, and now they're trying to take away y'all grits. <coughs> People hoarding them like they were hoarding um, Lysol and toilet paper. I'm mad they was in the supermarket grabbing toilet paper, and somebody was like, get the grits. <laughs> <laughs> Tyrone, go get you, you and little Jimmy. You and little Jimmy. These are good with nothing, with no chicken. Oh, no, I'm about to grab it. I'm about to go mm. ham. I'm about to go mm. ham. I'm trying to get ready for a work. Get them so they get, they get hard. You might put water in them. Nope, you're getting them. Oh, you this, is, this, is the, this is the consistency. This is the consistency. Yes, baby. Let it be known. A sister is happy. On the grip tip. Child, 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 child. When loving you is wrong, I don't want to be right. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'm saying, girl, I got the big spoon. Look, I got the big old country, don't make this <laughs> me all spoon. Let me find, see if I have some spoon with some home training. Let me get a spoon with home training. There we go. <sighs> is your mama eating these? Mm -hmm. Is your mm -hmm. Oh, no. Then that's all for me. That's only enough for two. That's all for me. All right, peace, y'all. I was trying to get in here.